Ben Brown on his way to the hill. Yeah, we take a look at uh, what Ben Brown features. A fastball that averages just under 97 miles per hour. He'll, he'll touch 99. He throws a curveball a lot, 36 percent of the time, and he throws a hard 86 miles per hour. A good bit uh, faster than the average major league curveball. And on that hook, opposing batters are hitting just 155, and he's recorded 27 strikeouts. First pitch is scorched off the glove of Swanson, and he will have no shot at getting Ronald Acuna Jr., and that will go as a single to start the ball game. And this pitch is taken outside for ball four. A wobbly start. Infield hit for Acuna. Now a base on balls. High fly ball. Left field. Tuckman. And Mike able to pull it down. The pounder. And there's one away. Swing and a miss. Olsen is gone. Brown registers his first strikeout. Pitch right there. That'll create some conversation in the Braves dugout. Nasty curveball, man. I thought I was on it and it just disappeared. And a one two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Brown allows the first two to reach and then gets Ozuna, Olsen, and Arcia. Season debut for the 21 year old A.J. Smith Schauber. After six appearances and five starts last year, now he gets to toe the rubber in 2024. I think the number that jumps out is that really low opponent's batting average. He did a nice job limiting the hits. Home runs a little bit of an issue for him in the big leagues and the minor leagues this year. Swing and a miss. Good changeup takes care of Mike Talkman. And a nice start for A.J. Smith Schauber. Lines went into right field a base hit and that's what happens many times in the big leagues when you leave an off speed pitch up around the belt it gets hit very hard a great change up takes care of Bellinger well, that change up has looked really good both strikeouts coming on change ups to left handed hitters out to right field Acuna going back and he's got it in the gap so hard hit but nothing to show for it for Morrell and we are scoreless on to the second five batters in a row retired by Ben Brown nothing nothing game second inning the batter is Chadwick Trump two balls two strikes with two outs here comes and a swing and a miss and Brown registers his third strikeout and he's gotten the last six Braves nothing Cubs nothing into the bottom of the second inning Ian Happ leading off with the Cubs say goodbye to Ian Happ curveball is right in there buckled his knees one away so far three strikeouts two on a changeup, and now one here on the breaking ball out to left field Kelnick Back and over toward the line. He's got enough room. He has the baseball, and we have two innings in the book. Game right now has a similar feel to last night's game when the pitchers dominated early. Justin Steele and Max Fried carving up hitters. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Strikeout number four for Brown. Fly ball, left center, shallow. Coming in, Talkman with a routine play. He's got it. It's another one, two, three inning for Ben Brown. He has set down nine in a row. And former Brave and two time All Star Dansby Swanson will lead things off. Dansby hits it out to Ronald Acuna, and he's got it. He gets Gomes to try to climb the ladder. He strikes him out. Four K's for Smith Schauber. 3 2 just misses. There's the first free pass given up today by A.J. Smith Schauber. Popped up. Albies can't find it. And it lands on the dirt. Tockman will stop at third. Windy, sunny day at Wrigley. Albies can't find it looking for help. Nobody there to provide support. I don't know if there was time for anybody else to get there. First pitch is hit high in the air. Acuna. See if he can find the ball coming in. Oh boy, the last second. An adventurous bottom of the third, but in the end, there's still goose eggs in Chicago. Lozuna is 0 for 1. And that's upstairs in ball four. First one to Olsen gets away from the catcher and ricochets that third baseline. Ozuna on the wild pitch moves up to 90 feet. 2-2. Two -two. On the ground, Bush has it. And Brown gets over on the play. Ozuna down to third. That's just the second ground ball out in the game. And a swing and a miss. He struck him out. Five strikeouts for Brown. A one two. Swing and a miss. And Brown gets the strikeout. A half dozen for Big Ben. It was Nesky in for Brown, and Ben Brown very good. And now was Nesky takes over, sporting a 1.84 ERA. If you think about Jared and what he's done in this ballpark, he's actually collected an extra base hit in each of his first four career games here at Wrigley Field. This ball is hit high in the air, deep to right center field, and that baby is into the bleachers. Jared Kelnick loves playing at Wrigley Field. 
And he gives Atlanta a one to nothing lead in the fifth. And Jared Kelnick feeling saucy indeed here at Wrigley Field. He got a fastball. It was 92 miles an hour. He hit it 109 out. And there's the first home run of the season allowed by Hayden Wisniewski. Is to the right side. Nice play by Bush. Gets up. Wisniewski gets over and they steal a hit from Acuna. Well done, Michael Bush and Hayden Wisniewski. And now you've got the bottom of the order and the catcher, Jan Gomes. This one is in play. Ozzie or Ronald, who's going to take this? And Ronald will. And Brian Snitker is going to come out and remove A.J. smith Schauber following this catch by Acuna. So two times through the lineup for smith Schauber, And now Dylan Lee will come into the game for Atlanta. And the lefty rocks and fires. Out to center. Harris over. He's got it. So good out there in center field. He's been sensational all series long. Three, four, five in the order for the Cubbies, starting with Bellinger. Got to but chase and miss that slider. One down here in the sixth inning. And a good start there to the bottom of the six for Dylan Lee, and then that's going to be it. And Brian Snitker is going to dip back into the bullpen. Pierce Johnson is entering for Atlanta. That one hooking down the right side, and it'll touch down for a hit. Half chugging into second. Acuna picks it up. And the Cubs have the time run in scoring position. Missed outside. Runners at first and second. And now an opportunity for Michael Bush. Struck him out on the outside corner. And it's still one to nothing after six. Cubs bullpen's been sensational of late. And now they have added this guy, a new guy. Old friend, Kyle Hendricks. Second career regular season relief appearance. Chadwick Trump lost his helmet on the swing, but he has a single to start the eight. Three and two, Duvall waits. And that is ball four. Albies has had tons of success versus Hendricks in his career. That ball is fair. It bounces off the tarp. Suzuki has to redirect. And in the process, Chadwick Trump comes home, and Atlanta leads it two to nothing. And that just feels like a monstrous insurance run here in the eighth inning. I think somewhat of a break, too, the way that this ball ended up bouncing back onto the field. It looked like it might have been headed for the corner. Tyler Trump had to make sure that it got through, but he scored easily. But I think any other situation there and it might have changed and been a two RBI double instead. And again, still only one out. I'm trying to keep it right here at 2 nothing. Now it's Marcelo Zuna to the plate. He enters the action today tied with Alec Bohm for the league lead at RBIs. That ball is hit high in the air out to left center field. Talkman on the track. Get up. Just missed it. Did Marcelo Zuna. It will score another run as Duvall prances across home, and it is three to nothing Atlanta. And it is Rice Iglesias, the closer on in a save situation, looking for his 12th save of the season. And that's your ball game. Braves win. Atlanta grabs the series at Wrigley Field. They also have their eighth shot out of the season. That is the most in Major League Baseball.